time for an update on what's been going on with me this week. So I weighed in last Sunday at 192.8 and this morning I weighed in at 192.5. So it is a weight loss. It is a 0.3 of a pound weight loss or a point, it was like a three ounce weight loss. Um, but I'm happy with that. It's going the right way. I didn't do have to work too hard for it, I guess, is the only thing I would say. And when I say that, what I mean is I didn't have to change much. What I actually did was I did what I said I was going to do. And I had nut butter every day, sometimes twice a day, to try and curb any cravings and to try and stop myself from craving unhealthier foods. I had chocolate every day, a piece of chocolate every day. And I even had some wine earlier in the week as well, which this week has been really interesting because I changed some aspects of my diet. I didn't reduce my calories or my macros or anything like that. I lightly tracked making sure I hit my protein every day. I was still having all my fruits and veggies and all that good stuff. Um, but I've been working with um, Jill Coleman recently. Um, for you, those of you who don't know who she is, um, she owns a company called Jill Fit. Uh, it's jillfit.com. She does a lot of nutrition and mindset work. And I'm currently working on one of her free educations, which is a business based um, course. And everything she talks about in the business section is so relatable to every aspect of your life. You can, you know, you can use all of the information that she gives you to work in other areas on yourself. And one of the biggest things she talks about is moderation. Now, she, I was lucky enough to be at the summit in May, um, in Manchester, sorry, in May last this year. And she talked about moderation and mindset and the starve binge cycle. And it really hit home at the time. But what was really interesting was even though I knew what she was talking about and I understood it, it really takes some time sometimes to digest that information and to actually be able to apply it to your own life. So I really do think at the moment, I don't know whether it's just because I'm working with her on this this uh, free education or, or what it is, but it's definitely kind of making more sense to me and I've been able to apply it because what I was doing wasn't working and it's going well. I mean, I you know, it's week one, so we'll see, but I'm hoping that especially coming up to the holidays, I'll definitely be able to manage it, you know, work on mindset. She's been doing it for five years, so certainly not going to say I'm going to have it down within a month. But, you know, if it works um, and I'm getting healthier and I'm getting stronger and I'm losing weight, then that's what I want, man, the results I want. So, yeah, it's been a really, really interesting week. Really, really good. I'm really happy with the result I've got. And I got to the gym three times. Definitely noticed my body aching a lot more because the previous two weeks I'd hardly been anywhere and done anything. So, yeah, I've been very sore this week. My legs were very, very sore. It was very difficult to walk up and downstairs. Um, but it was great to go back to the gym. So I'm going to be back there tomorrow. Uh, my sleep hasn't been great this week. Grayson has been waking up quite a bit in the evenings. That's been a bit of a struggle. But trying to make sure we go to bed a bit earlier to cope with that. Um, this coming week, really busy week. Probably going to end up going really quickly. And then next weekend we are child free. Um, because we are having his furniture delivered. Which is his Christmas present. So we're going to be sorting his room out um, next weekend. While he's not here. And Saturday night I'm going out for dinner with friends. We're going to a kind of American diner type restaurant. So that's going to be interesting as to what choices I can make. I'm actually going to look at the menu maybe tonight. But before we go, definitely. Definitely feeling more festive now. I'm feeling more Christmassy. Yesterday was Halloween and we did some trick-or-treating with Grayson. Um, it was his first time and it was very cute. He did really well walking around. Um, not many houses were doing it around our area. So it was kind of disappointing on that aspect but he doesn't know so I'm kind of glad that he's not old enough to understand that yet so next year we might go and drive and trick-or-treat somewhere else um but yeah we didn't get as many kids either so don't know what happened there so my aim this week is to carry on doing what I'm doing get to the gym three times get some good sleep and not eat all the Halloween candy that we've got left over 